Good evening, everybody. As president of the Art Pantram Trust, I welcome you all to the closing of this grand extravaganza, the Glass House Festival of Poetry. I cannot believe it is getting over. Family and friends from across the world are writing that they are so steeped in poetry and music that they've forgotten their lockdown blues. This incredible poetry festival, a marathon session of four continuous days of immersive poetry with fabulous ideas and the discussions on it with the mesmerizing music sessions interspersed has ended. And it was all online. The planning, the process of execution and the final festival is all from our homes. The Art Pantram Trust since the lockdown on March 23rd started an art cafe thanks to the brainwave of our mentor, Jija Hari Singh. We went on with cultural and literary programs every evening and then every weekend. Each day a speaker sharing journeys, passions and perspectives. It was an eye opener to see how each one works towards making our world beautiful inside out and the collective energy that got generated and enriched everyone. Art Mantram has always believed in the triple aim of art, artists and art awareness. We have always worked in the space of contemporary art, craft, dance and music. But then during these lockdown sessions, a lot of interest in poetry started surfacing. And the idea of a small poetry gathering start, started gaining momentum. It started as a dream and a small idea. And like all mantram dreams, it grew and grew and grew. And then was created this Glasshouse Festival, Poetry from Around the World. The last four days saw over 85 poets from 18 countries in support of the creative people in the pandemic. We are truly honored with so many award-winning poets from across the globe participating in this festival. On behalf of Art Pantram, I would like to thank each one of you, dear poets, for being a part of our event. The festival was inaugurated by Padma Vibhushan Sri Sri Ravi Shankarji. We had the privilege of listening to poet laureates like KK Daruwala, Padma Shri's like Chandrasekhar Kambar and Sudharak Olve, and many Sahitya Academy and Gyanpeet awardees. Icons like Satchidanandan K, Sonia Sanchez, George Sirtis, Dorduran Duman, Jennifer Foster, and the list goes on. Poetry is the creativity of the poet's imagination, and the emotion that has been invoked by them has left us wrapped in awe. Readings from Rumi to Kabir, from Keats to Beethoven, from queer poetry to feminist poetry, to Black Lives Matter, we had it all. This poetry festival happened because of our talented and strong curators. A big thank you to the director and curator of this festival, Yubna Hari Singh Java, whose dedication to this festival was unsurpassable. Yumna nurtured her aptitude for poetry since her college days and school days at the UWC, Lady Sriram College, Delhi and London School of Economics. The founder, trustee and current vice president of Art Pantram that she is, this festival was conceptualized by her. Her passion, her dedication and her meticulous planning and coordination created the magic and the joyous energy of this festival. We have Rochelle Potka as co-curator who operates on a space of inclusiveness where she believes that sharing multiplies the product and has done this to the nth degree for this festival. 
We thank you, Rochelle, not just for your skills of organization and your contacts, but the way you put your heart into it all. Thank you, Rochelle. With a global expanse of 100 poets, to me, the world came home in mosaics of poetry, perspectives, and difficult and forgotten conversations. And what's more is, we spoke out our hearts. The quarantine made us seek deep, open our minds wide, and hence dimensions were redefined. For me, this festival broke boundaries of time and thought and brought out a platter of large talk in V hours. I hope once we return to the new normal, we don't stop talking because that is what will happen. Silence and scatter will build quarantines of the mind again. Prakriti Pooja Balal, co-curator, ever since she came into the festival has come up with one more spectacular idea than after another and brought it to a fruitful completion. We are amazed by your flawless graciousness and impeccable attention to detail. Thank you so much, Pratiti. Our curatorial team of Somrita Urni Ganguly, Aditi Angiras and Chandramohan brought in their inimitable strengths into the organization, making it multifacetedly talented and bolstered us in areas that enabled us to center the margins. Thank you for expressing perfectly what the festival sought to achieve. This is Aditi Angiras, a poet and an artist based in New Delhi. And I was also a part of the curatorial team for the Glasshouse Poetry Festival that took place this last week in July. Uh, it was a fabulous event and I really want to thank Yumna and the entire Art Mantram team for putting this together and filling our lives with so much brilliant and beautiful poetry from around the world uh, at a time like this. Mm -hmm. This was my first experience with an online festival and uh, it was just remarkable the kind of effort um, you know, the organizers put behind this and the thought that was put behind this and the collaboration I think that came together from uh, poets from around the world and I look forward to uh, you know many more uh, because this was all recorded and is now located on the YouTube channel for Art Mantram as well as on their Facebook page. If you missed any session uh, it might be a great idea for you to venture out and experience uh, you know, this huge wealth of sessions and poems and uh, people that, you know, you might or might not have heard about. So here's me signing off until um, next time. Hello, I am Shomrita Urni Ganguly. I'm a professor, poet and literary translator, and I've been working on the curatorial team of the Glass House Festival over the last two months. And what can I say about this festival on the final day that won't make me tear up a bit? I'm going to keep a box of tissues handy, just in case, you know. A seed was sown and the festival was born. The idea blossomed into a four-day marathon with around a hundred poets, scholars, musicians and artists from over 15 countries in the world coming together for a selfless cause. Many of these poets are people whose works I admire. Many of them I have the privilege to call my friends. Nurduran, Tiffany, Natalie, Eleni, Aliaj, Kamalji, Sanket, Madhu, Pithidi, and of course members of the curatorial team, Yumna, Rochelle, Chandramohan, Aditi. You have been so generous with your time and your words. I have seen chaos unfurling into beautiful moments of strength and solidarity. We've negotiated with people, navigated around technical difficulties, and there were days when Yumna and I would be laughing hysterically on the phone at three in the night. There were other days which saw tears at three in the afternoon. But I feel that is the essence of a festival, that is the essence of poetry, that is the essence of life. To live all our emotions, to have one or the other, would be a bit of a compromise. As I sign off today, I also want to take a brief moment to acknowledge the support and understanding of our friends and families, partners, parents, 
There are messages waiting to be answered. There are meals waiting to be shared. Thank you for giving me the time and the space, for giving all of us this time and space to get our work done. I will sum up my feelings uh, with the words of one of my favorite poets. Will there be singing in the dark times? Yes, there will be singing in the dark times. There will be songs about the dark times. We have tried to add some poetry and to cheer to your long lockdown days. Pass this poetry forward. Do not let these voices get drowned in echo chambers. The times are difficult and yet, like boats, we will keep sailing against the treacherous currents and get to the shore. Thank you for being a part of our journey. It was a dream come true for me, listening to diverse voices from all over the world, presented on a platter by the Glasshouse Festival and by Art Mantram. There were many voices whom I did have a personal interest in and it was like an Indian dish of thali with a dish for each of my taste buds. I thank from the bottom of my heart the Glass House Poetry Festival and Art Mantram Initiative for organizing this online poetry extravaganza. Thank you so much. We are thankful to the board of the Glass House Festival Shri Chiranjeev Singh, Shri Sudhakar Rao, Shri K. Sachidanandan, and Shri Manu Balikar, and the Art Mantra trustees for their wholehearted support. My sincere thanks to our managing trustee, Jija Madhavan Hari Singh, our trustee Lakshmi Ishwar, our advisory board members, V. Ravi Chandar, Subir Hari Singh, and Ms. M. Lakshmi Narayan, all our guests of honor at the festival, the jury board of, for the poetry award competitions, the haiku awards, and the very, very popular children's poetry competitions. And we thank our partners to this festival. We thank artists S.G. Vasudev and Sri J.M.S. Mani for their artwork for the glass house. We thank the members of the Art Mantram who actively helped us throughout this journey and our volunteers and interns who made it happen. I would also thank my colleagues at the Executive Committee, Elena Abraham, Kavita Mehra, and Kashmira Nair, who have been working tirelessly the last three months. Our special thanks to our tech team of Anup, Haridasan, and Rukman, and most importantly, Vineet Java, who held the hurricane off and on whenever the website threatened. The challenges of doing an online festival of this scale is unending, but I think we successfully managed. Over to Yumna Hari Singh to tell us a little more on the ethos of the festival and the road ahead for Mantra. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, Raji. It's hard to believe that we're at the almost the end of day four of the first Glasshouse Festival, Poetry from Around the World. Um, it feels like it was just yesterday when we were starting out with the idea that stemmed from our uh, art cafe that we were doing, you know, 30-minute sessions, and so many of them featured poetry that we thought, why don't we try and immerse ourselves as we would in the real world by luxuriating in days full of poetry. From a two-day festival, it very quickly grew into the format that it is now, a four-day festival with a section on of poetry curated on film, of, um, of uh, live takeovers of performance poetry every evening, of poetry really from around the world, you know, the, the length and breadth of our country from uh, Maharashtra to Arunachal Pradesh, from Kashmir to Kerala, and, uh, and different identities of people. So we've tried to bring plurality to the center of the conference. Uh, we've tried to really explore identity uh, and to look at uh, how the deeper we go, how different and how, at the same time, how similar we are. And this world that we share at the moment, which um, has everybody, you know, in the same context, looking in the same direction. And at the same time, there are some people who um, are finding it easier to revert to hardened attitudes, which I do not believe will be of help as we move into the future. A, a, a festival such as this, I think, plays a vital role in opening your eyes, opening your heart 
to uh, different people's perspectives because the poetry is so powerful because it's so moving. Everybody from from Sonia Sanchez to Yarana Ti, I think, has has showed the the impact of poetry, whether it be of protest, of resistance, of identity, uh, whether it be a haiku which captures uh, the mood of a moment, whether it's performance poetry that that brings deeply held hurts to the fore. Uh, this this festival has really, in a way, been the universe in a nutshell. I think. Um, so there are several people to thank. Raji has uh, has named quite a few, but I feel like uh, I would not feel complete if I did not also acknowledge uh, the shoulders of whom this festival has risen on. Um, there is, of course, the the uh, entire Art Mantram team, um, the the executive committee of Art Mantram, the um, friends of Art Mantram who have led teams of volunteers and interns and done our social media. Uh, there is the the boards, the festival boards, the jury boards, the, the board of Art Mantram Trust. There are all of the interns who've joined us, the poets who've come aboard and deigned to, to lend their voices, their poems, their thoughts, their experiences uh, to make this festival really what it has become. And uh, and I, I have to call out two moderators in particular, although they've all been stunning in curating these sessions that uh, collate voices that are telling important stories, the, the historic Native Nations anthology that's coming out that's been edited by Joy Horjo with uh, several editors of that volume coming together to talk about the 160 voices and the, and the 100 um, Native Indian uh, tribes that have been covered by the anthology. Um, Sonia Sanchez and John Bracey talking about SOS calling all black people uh, and, and that covering of the, the black arts movement to Black Lives Matter and then uh, black Ameripoetic futures. So there is so much that has been encompassed, but, but two moderators in particular, I think Sanket Matre for all of the work on getting the word out there and trying to increase our outreach, Akhila G for troubleshooting, the curators upon whose shoulders we have stood uh, uh, Somrita, who I bothered in the middle of the night at 3 a.m., but uh, more importantly, Rochelle, who has um, brought the openness of our heart to the festival and has uh, has reached out and made it really an all-inclusive space by drawing in everybody and making everybody feel at home and making them feel ownership of it. Um, of course, Pratiti, with her uh, impeccable sense of detail and exactitude, but more than that, the depth and breadth of her vision to, to look at what was possible within the space, within the, the vision and the mission of, of trying to represent plurality, trying to put identity in the center, trying to bring margins into the mainstream. Pratiti, thank you so much for all of the curating work that you've done in bringing the BIC part of the festival together. I must also thank Aditi Angiras, uh, not just for uh, bringing in queer voices and other panelists, but also for the work that she did in bringing about the Airplane Movement Partnership. And talking about partners, Nandini Varma, thank you very much for your Instagram takeovers of our page. Uh, thank you to Parish Tiwari and to Narrow Road for their partnership with us on our Haiku Awards. Uh, thank you to all of the press that covered us. Uh, Times of India here, the new Indian Express, uh, the Midday in Bombay. Um, Radios, these are one of our earliest partners, Talk Radio NYC, who came aboard when we were just the kernel of a thought and gave us a platform to talk about why we're doing what we're doing, you know, the, the underlying ethos of wanting to help people who are in need, creative artisans, uh, dancers, artists, you know, who are struggling to sort of navigate this time when routes to market are disrupted, when all audiences are unavailable when auditoriums are closed they reached out and offered us an hour uh, every wednesday so talk radio nyc thank you so very much you know for that early outpouring of support wriu radio uh, new england's largest public radio offered us uh, a space to talk about what we were trying to do here so thank you to them uh, shout outs also obviously to bic as a session partner they've been uh, wonderful in facilitating in every way possible um, session partners also include Penguin and Airplane Movement again. So I'm sure there are, there are so many people to thank. It really is like a tsunami that came in and sw swept us all over for these four days, which is still not come to a close. Uh, Beethoven is going on as I speak. And um, thank you all, you know, every one of you who felt like this was something that uh, you loved and that you gave your attention and your time and your energy to. Uh, thank you very much. Um, it really is a little bit like we're a phoenix that has um, risen out of nothing and, uh, and have, has flared so brightly. And it's almost time now for us to say uh, goodbye for another year. 
and uh, till we see you again. So I hope we have achieved our aim and our purpose to share with you poets, poems, types of poetry and also issues uh, that uh, we hope touch you and move you and that you will then carry not just these poems but poetry with you uh, into the future days as we go forward and that you yourself could take the opportunity to write some poetry of your own. Um, having said all that, it is now my great pleasure to uh, introduce our managing trustee, uh, Jija Madhavan Hari Singh. She is uh, one of the first women police officers in the country, in fact the first in South India. After having spent 35 years in the service and having uh, won several awards, um, including the, the Priyadarshini National Award for Integration for her sensitive handling of uh, caste cases in Karnataka. She's also a Priyadarshini Award winner for the arts uh, because she's, she's a, a artist of repute having showed in Washington and Australia and, and here one of 20 artists invited to celebrate uh, SAC Women's Day and, um, and she has been president of uh, the Institute of Directors here in Bangalore after retirement, currently serving president as of uh, the Lotus and Chrysanthemum Indo-Japanese Cultural Foundation and of course managing trustee of Art Mantram which started with an idea that she had 20 years ago and she continues to mentor us through. So Jija, thank you very much for always leading the way and over to you now. Thank you. Thank you, Yumna. It gives me so much joy and happiness to introduce a very special guest of honor this evening to conclude the four day Glasshouse Festival of Poetry from around the world. This was presented by Art Mantram. Srimadi Bhanumati Narasimhan is an inspiration to so many around the world. An author, poet and a beautiful singer. Her famous works are Gods and Goddesses in English, Gurudeva in Tamil, Parashakti Gurudeva in Marathi, Shikhar Par Anchal. Her books have been widely translated into Gujarati, Bengali and Hindi. She's a social activist, spearheading hundreds of women empowerment initiatives, including international conferences. She's engrossed in providing education to 70,000 children in 22 states of India. I have watched her work relentlessly to alleviate the pain and suffering all over the world through the special programs that she teaches. I have known Bhanu Didi for over a decade. She is an epitome of elegance and grace. She is like mother to many, caring, tending and offering wisdom and support to young and old alike across boundaries of caste, religion, race and culture. She's a very simple person, which is what makes her so beautiful and so irresistible. She's at home, natural and relaxed, wherever she is, spontaneous and almost childlike. And she never misses a detail and is ever ready to respond to anyone in distress. She takes care of so many people and their problems all in a day's work with love and sensitivity. It gives me, therefore, the greatest joy to introduce Bhanu Didi, who has graciously agreed to share her poetry, her wisdom, and also sing a very special poem for us on the most fundamental truth of human existence. Over to Srimadi Bhanumati Narsimhan. I congratulate Jija Hari Singh Ji Yumna and the Art Mantram team for successfully curating this poetry festival. You know, uh, poetry happens to us when we are in an elevated state of consciousness or a refined state of consciousness. Poetry emerges out of us at the peak of our emotions for sure. So whenever our poems uplift people, unite people, bring people together and make them happy, then we have really contributed positively towards the health of the society. In fact, good poetry really helps people to 
express themselves and then understand each other in fact there's so much happening now and lockdown has happened amidst this also you could think about such a festival it is a very nice act bringing so many poets together from all over the world when we were growing up our father used to tell us so many stories from puranas you know in the ancient scriptures most of our ancient scriptures they are all in the form of poetry in fact you know the great epic ramayana it's so beautifully written the it's all in a poetic form whether it be valmiki ramayana or tulsidas ramayana it is so beautifully written today also it holds good all of us can learn and it's a very nice way of expressing our uh, understanding of life huh? even i like to write poetry sometimes it's better for me than speaking <laughs> writing a speech i like to write poems i want to read a one poem that i had written for one of our conferences we conduct a women's conference every two year once here in the ashram and women from all over the world they attend this program one of the conferences i wrote this poetry i would like to read it out to you and it's i feel that it is very apt for this time you know is life a straight road a clean path predictable practical it is all in your hands only seemingly is life a u turn full of uncertainty perhaps mystical nothing is in your hands only seemingly the mind is your vehicle to take you to the moon and back step by step along the known turn by turn up and down into the unknown did it start at the end or does it end at the start come home beyond the mind into your heart feel connected to the stars and the seas the birds and the bees the flowers and the breeze to every being that is the smallest of the small the biggest of them all find them within you one thread that strings them all come home into the self where the wave merges into the ocean it knows it was always a part free from identity and notions that is where you will know who you are you know this uh, usually i say poetry is the song of the soul huh? it is a food for the soul so it is so beautiful we need to encourage more people to write poems and express themselves no it's a very nice way of expressing one's emotions and you are all doing this and once again i congratulate you all here i want to tell you about uh, my brother <laughs> i think gurudev inaugurated your program hmm? and he is a versatile personality as you all know no he he writes he sings he writes poetry <laughs> he is the best in all I have written a book on Gurudev, Gurudev on the plateau of the peak. In that, I have also written his poetry here. I want to read it out to you. Yeah. Love is not an emotion. My heart rises in waves and lashes at your feet for eternity, oh dear. This creation is nothing but a celebration of thy presence. I see you in the leaves. and in the petals and in the stems in the thorns and in the unseen roots it's all you and you and you nothing but you whether in the bark or the thorns or the roots in the mud your face is reflected smiling and dancing and laughing and singing it's all you it's all you in tears of joy in tears of sorrow alike you play you dance you sing and you celebrate it's all you it's all you it's all you 
for each glorifies the other everything in this creation glorifies everything else clapping your own hands together you rejoice in my presence it's all you it's all you it's all you this is such a beautiful poetry i just love it so i wanted to share with you all so he has written in kannada he has written in tamil he has written in english hindi so many languages in sanskrit also so i would like to sing the song which he has written in sanskrit shivoham shivoham you know it's so beautiful and before that i want to also share with you his thoughts when somebody asked him have you met god then he said you can never meet god and everybody was surprised then he said when you meet god you dissolve only god remains so this is the height of consciousness this is how he demystifies and simplifies the concept of god people often have lot of doubts on it right so in such a simple way he also communicates and through his poetry and songs and he shivoham he says shivoham is means i am that you know or the word that like that i am shiva meaning where i am so free nityoham i am eternal shuddoham ever pure buddhoham enlightened and muktoham always free you know no bondage so this is the beauty of this song i just love it you also enjoy there was a request from jija hari singh that uh, she wants me to sing this song i am very happy to sing for you shivo hum shivo hum shiva swaroopo hum shivo hum shivo hum shiva swaroopo hum nityo hum shuddho hum buddho hum mukto hum nityo hum shuddho hum buddho hum mukto hum shivo hum shivo shivaswarupo ham advaita mananda roopam roopam advaita mananda roopam roopam brahmo ham brahmo ham brahma swaroopo ham chido ham chido ham sachidanand shivo ham shivo ham shiva swaroopo ham thank you thank you shrimati bhanumati narsimhan for your insightful address and the mellow fluous rendition of the poem the message is so meaningful in the context of the pandemic and of these poets and scholars converging here for this festival from all corners of the globe it reminds me of the oneness of all of us and with the absolute and ultimate reality the truth that despite differences in language and the cultural practices after all we are one human race 
I sign off this evening on the final day of this grand festival on the 26th of July 2020 on that happy and uplifting note thanking you all once again very warmly and bidding farewell. See you all when we meet once again for the second edition of the Glasshouse Festival of Poetry from around the world. Namaskaram. Thank you.